Welcome to Treasure Mountain! <laughs> Today we're embarking on an epic journey from Manila to the mountain town of Tanay in Rizal. Little did we know what awaited for us, as this is one of the most action-packed adventures in the Philippines so far. Ooh, from thrilling giant seesaws to exploring pitch black caves and experiencing a lively waterfall filled with Filipino holiday makers, this day was crazy. Don't forget to hit subscribe and let's jump into the video. All right, good morning guys. You might have to excuse the lack of energy right now because we've got picked up at, well, 3.30, so to get up at 2.55 a.m. this morning. It was almost not worth sleeping. <laughs> it was so early. And we've not had a coffee yet, but we have arrived at Treasure Mountain. We're not 100% sure on what's going on. There's a lot of Tagalog being spoken, but we've arrived and I can see in the distance there's a pretty epic view, so I think maybe we'll just go over there even if we're not meant to. <laughs> wow, look at this. Yeah, that is. Whoa, it's slippery though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't slip off the edge. It's 5.46 in the morning and we're about to get breakfast. <laughs> it's usually a kebab time after a night out now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, breakfast first and then the view deck, which is a bit of a walk. It's five minutes away. Whoa, get a little yeah. It's free as well, the breakfast, by the way. What's fun? Two, please, yeah. So we've just ordered our two spam logs, which is essentially is spam, egg and rice. And we can eat it over there on that lovely like restaurant that looks out into the mountains, but we have to go and order coffee over there as well. Yeah, that's the Which is the number one thing. I love how you like breakfast and coffee, but we're just getting some spam. Coffee's <laughs> over it. The first time I've ever tried spam was in the Philippines a few weeks ago. And I have to say, I'm not really a fan. <laughs> But that was the only option that we kind of knew what it was on the menu, so I might try it again. I might have changed my mind. You never know, do you? Wow, this is beautiful. So we've got a little buzzer and two hazelnut lattes on their way. And we've got our breakfast here. Sadly, we weren't lucky enough to bag the tables and look out onto the actual view, but you can see the clouds from here. Yeah, I really don't. I'm not in the mood at this time to eat. So I'm just oh, let's not eat it. Yeah, but I didn't have any tea last night. Oh yeah, true, you eat it. I need to eat. Get, in, get tucked in. I just don't understand what spam is. It's processed ham. <laughs> it's so ham odd. in a can. It's weird. Better than I remembered. What's right? It's like salty ham, isn't it? <laughs> now, the most, the most important part of the day, really, isn't it? After we've had the this, coffee or the view? Both, really. Together, this is the best coffee and view situation that we've ever had, isn't it? It's pretty good. It's pretty top notch. It is nice. Cheers. Cheers. Now I've had a sip of coffee, I can actually speak to you properly. So we've got a full day of adventure planned here. I think we've got caving, we've got waterfalls, we've got a view deck to still go to. And some crazy stuff as well. Oh yeah, I forgot. And we've got adventure activities, again, which are going to include probably me poo in my pants. So there's an option to actually stay here and this is where you would have stayed. We were tempted, but now getting up at this time, we're quite happy we're not. <laughs> We're heading up to the view deck now. So this behind us here is what we're going to be doing in the next Obstacle hour. Course. And that makes me very nervous because it looks pretty high to be fair. Oh, it's like three meters off the ground. I hate gas. You... Let's not get started because you know that I'm terrified and you're not. So it's not three meters off the ground. It literally is. You'll it's be not. fine. Look at that. And there's loads of little campsites around as well. Look like on the hills, oh, yeah. on different mountains. This obviously is the big and the best, the best one that we're at, obviously. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can see why. It's absolutely stunning, as Abby would say. God, that's disgusting. <laughs> Loads of spiders up here. Look at them. 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, actually disgusting. Look at the size of them. I can't cope. I think we're about to get like harnessed and strapped up for our adventure activity. What, just right now? Yeah, literally I've not been now. Up to this. So I think this is where we do our activities. So we've got the high ropes obstacle course first. Or I mean, no, it just says ropes obstacle course. No <laughs> high in the name. Yeah. yeah. I tried to do a jump when we were doing that. Whoa, I'm about to slip down this hill. Well, down. When we did the um, Boracay Island Hop, and I tried to do like a three meter jump, and I'm checking that. I didn't, yeah, I didn't even put it. You just faked it for the camera. I didn't even put it in the vlog. Oh, yeah, I, I, just okay. did, I just couldn't do it, so I was like, didn't make the cut. So hopefully it's not too scary. <laughs> so, it's, so it turns out it's just us on the group who's booked this obstacle course, <laughs> nobody else. <laughs> Why? Got our harnesses on, which leave absolutely nothing to the imagination, and we're ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm scared already. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'm scared of heights. You're probably the wrong activity then. Yeah, I know. You make me do these things. And I don't want to. <laughs> oh keep my God. Don't look going. down. Don't look down. Don't look down. Okay. And grab onto this. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, yep. Thank you. Oh, God. What are we doing? It's fun. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Ooh, that's that fun. scary. God, this is actually quite the physical activity for the morning. <laughs> what time is it? 6 a.m.? Uh, it's about 6, 7 a.m. Seven and we're doing ah. this in the mountains. And then this is the view. I mean, it's raining a little bit, but... Scary. <laughs> oh, scary. I try not to look down. Oh. Nice. I mean, if I wasn't awake after my coffee, I am most certainly awake now. Ugh. Why do we do stuff like this? This is fun. This is fun. I'm, I'm enjoying it. You're enjoying this, I can I tell you. I am actually enjoying it, yeah, yeah, but it is scary. This one looks, look, this one's more fun. Look. No, no, I'm not looking at anything. No, no, this one's just the tyres. <laughs> a fun start to our day, even if I was terrified through 90% of it. You end up at the top on what they call the spider's web and our instructor insisted on making us do probably the cringiest photo shoot of our lives. But you have to laugh. The last two adventure activities were the ones I was most nervous about, starting with a giant swing. So we are now doing a... Keep standing. Keep standing. Okay. You're about to be launched off the side of the mountain. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, now this is here. Hold here. Yes. Okay, put your inside. Inside? Okay, good. Make okay. sure it gives... Uh, is it going to be really... Okay. Just lift okay. your knees up, okay. I reckon. Okay, one swing in, keep your legs straight. Straight? Yes. Just kick okay. off. Okay, are you ready? No! <laughs> I'm not ready! Okay. Ah! Three... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Ah! <laughs> 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 Ready? No! <laughs> no, that was fun though. <laughs> but I am shaking loads. <laughs> oh, I need a nap after this. I know. So the final stop on this high adrenaline part of our day is the giant seesaw, which is the thing that actually filled me with the most dread when I saw it. So, good lord. <laughs> Who's first? Oh, what, is it one person at a time? Yeah, I'll go first. All right. I'm going to get her to swing off the mountain. No. I'm going to jump on it so hard she flies in the air. Come forward. 
I'll come forward. Feet there. Yeah. Hold on. I'm ready. I don't know if that can hold my weight. Jesus. Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> making, making friends on the seesaw. <laughs> oh, wave at me. Jesus. This is actually crazy. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually mental. This is honestly the craziest seesaw ever. Who even comes up with this idea? I'm just on a bloody massive giant seesaw hanging off the edge of a mountain. It's, it's ah. awesome. Oh my, that was bloody great, that wasn't was it? That was so fun, That was yeah. so fun. I love really things like that. Yeah, same actually. It was really good. I was a bit nervous. What was your favourite part? I liked the, the swinging yeah, chair. Yeah. The swinging chair was really good. I thought the seesaw would be scary, so that was kind of relaxing in the end. Yeah, I thought the swinging chair was good actually, because you, yeah. you actually got to look out and see views over the mountain yeah didn't you? just walk back down like from the obstacle course to the restaurant area where we had breakfast it's absolutely pumping they've got music blasting it is rammed like isn't it it's like a nightclub yeah, yeah it's crazy so it's, it's, it's so popular there's like people going up in golf buggies now so i think you must come really early in the morning to beat the crowds but yeah it's clearly a massive tourist spot for people who live around manila obviously a huge dose of adrenaline all before 9 a.m and this was literally just the start of our day so much more good stuff to come Next stop was another viewing area to take in the unbelievable scenery. This area is known to be a mini Baguio, and after spending the last week there we can totally see it. Tons of greenery, mountain views and a slightly cooler climate. Absolutely stunning and a great place to clear your head and just take a minute to chill out. Okay, so we have made it to the next stop, which is Kalinawan Cave. I had a nice nap in the bus then, if you can't see my hair, I'm all squiffy. Yeah. It was a good nap. I think it's a dry cave. I asked her if we going in the water, but see what it entails. So we get to choose our helmets. Oh, XL for Abby's big head. Normal for my head. God, it's big on my head. <laughs> Secure, I can't, I can't talk. <laughs> yeah. I feel like a bit muzzled. <laughs> Put your hat muzzle on. And a hard hat. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It's naturally built with with um steps. steps. That's good. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Jesus, I can't see where I'm going. I don't like caves. The first thing you notice when you go into the cave is just how dark it is. With such a small opening, you needed your flashlight just to be able to see the floor. According to history, this cave was a hideout for Filipino revolutionaries during the Spanish-American War and a shelter during World War II. I'm not going first. I don't know. We're in the cave and we'll walk in more into it. And that's all I can tell you, that's all the information I've got. I had stalactites, stalagmites, but that was it. Second layer, I think it has no visibility. And then you can go to the third layer, but if it's dangerous, I'm not going. So the lady just told us that many films have been filmed here and one international one that we know is Jackie Chan apparently, which is with this big shiny rock behind us. I'm not going to be able to show you much in here as it is pitch black and it does smell of bat poo, but what we can show you, we'll show you the interesting parts as we move through this dark cave. I heard there was three layers and it gets darker as it goes and more scary. We're going right into the cave. This is the second layer. We need to watch out for our heads. <laughs> this is when my, my height does not work in my favour. This is like a frog's head. It was all fun and games until we ventured deeper into this dark cave. The spaces we were squeezing through got a lot smaller and I couldn't help but think about what would happen if there was an earthquake. The exit suddenly felt miles away. So there's like a crawling tunnel that the military use. 10 metres in the dark. No thanks. Oh, Abby.
the end of the military tunnel. At this point, claustrophobia was real. 30 minutes of walking deep into a dark cave and our thoughts were turning to how we could get out quickly. Thankfully, there was another exit and it actually was just round the corner. We're alive. We made it. OK, so there was, I think we went to level two, which was deep enough, but there was a level three and a level four, which involved crawling and push-up positions. So that was a no for me. So next stop on today's agenda is Daranak Falls, and we've been told to bring our swimming stuff. She did say it was the most popular thing to do in this area, didn't she? Yeah. There were so many bikes. There's honestly like hundreds, if not a thousand bikes, like all lined up the road. Obviously it's a Sunday, so everyone and their aunts come out to go to the waterfall, apparently. It means they'll have a good vibe though, won't it? It will. Either that or there'll be nowhere to sit. <laughs> If you're not doing it on a tour, it's 75 pesos to enter. Wow, this is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. You can hear the tunes blasting already, guys. You can hear the good vibes that we're about to walk into. Wow, this is cool. It's a really open kind of like river, yeah. isn't it? So this is definitely a tourist attraction. There's loads of like little huts selling food and stuff here. I just pulled up into, I can smell roasted peanuts. Is that peanuts, Gaz? Are they peanuts? Ah. I don't know what they are. Yeah, they are. Welcome to my vlog. <laughs> so as suspected, it is very, very busy. One thing I have noticed, actually, is I've not seen any Western tourists at all today, have you? No, not one. Super Filipino. Even in the cave, they're only speaking Tagalog, which is really nice because you're getting a proper, authentic Filipino experience. But, but we also can understand we also what they're what's going on, yeah. But this is, like, absolutely packed full of Filipino families. The only odd things are is, number one, we can't fly a drone unless we pay 1,500 pesos, so sorry, guys, we won't be doing that. And number two, we can't take our bag to the waterfall. So I'm like, what do we do? Loads that? of people have bags over there, though. Yeah, so I guess we'll just, we're going to walk around and work it all out. Here we are. Here's the huge kind of massive, how would you describe it? Waterfall. Well, because it's a waterfall, but it's like, it's very, very close to the actual rocks that it's falling down. But what yeah. do you mean? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's loads of streams, that's what I'm saying, it's not one yeah, steady stream. Yeah, it's not like, it's not like one defined stream, it's just like all flowing down the road. Yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> probably a geographical name for it. Geographical? Yeah, geographical. Geographical. But yeah, it looks really cool, there's loads of people playing in the water. And I guess you can just chill out and have fun for the next hour and a half, really. <laughs> Got a man with a megaphone here, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Think of that. Actual chaos. What? That is actual chaos. Yeah, it's so busy. I've isn't never it? seen so many people yeah, at waterfall. I've, this is the busiest waterfall we've seen in the Philippines. You can see why. It's absolutely beautiful, but that bit's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Just like a shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're going to swim, just because we have to get on the bus straight back to Manila afterwards. Yeah, but we've, we've got like an hour, and then it's an hour or two bus ride back. Yeah. And we realise we're going to be sitting on the bus, like absolutely soaking through. So we're happy to just soak in the vibes. But for anyone who's coming here who is a Western girlie who wants to wear a bikini, there's no other women here in bikinis at all. Everyone's in t-shirts, life jackets and covered up. So I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that here anyway, because that's clearly not the vibe. So just bear that in mind if you do come and you want to wear a bikini I'd go for a swimming costume and shorts to kind of be respectful here. Do you reckon that turns into a bonfire at night? Are we missing something here? Mango shakes. Hello, uh, one mango shakes please. Oh, you've got no mango. Have you got pineapple? No. Ah. Ah, okay. Ah, do you want to get another drink then? Uh, can we get a royal please? Just, just one, please. Yeah. I've got some squid cooking here. Yeah, squid. And then food. 
So we just spent about an hour chilling, chatting to some people on the tour and just relaxing really here, haven't we? Yeah, to be fair, it's been a very fast, high paced tour from the get go. So it's enjoyable just to kind of sit, chill and uh, yeah, meet some new people at the end. Yeah, but we've absolutely loved this tour. We would really, really yeah, recommend it's been it, great. actually. It's been nice to take the power out of our hands and be guided around stuff today as well and explore a new area that we probably wouldn't have done by ourselves, really, would we? No, exactly. It's quite out It's quite out its way. Yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!